Berdrashid Bardra Elohim, Et Hashamim Vehit Hararetz. Attention, this is a special report about decoding the mark of the beast. I'm going to teach you today, little children, about a secret of time that regards decoding the Bible, the mark of the beast. A Bible worshiper is a slave to the pen. The Bible worshiper is controlled by a book of ink. And in this book of ink, they make up labels for themselves. Little children, the children of light, Holy Spirit people don't follow labels. And today, the Creator is making a distinction between the saint and the Bible worshiper who calls themselves a Christian. Now these labels that they derive from ink are labels such as the word Catholic, the word Presbyterian, the word Baptist, the word Methodist, Jehovah's Witness, the Church of Christ, and Mormon. All of these words are thrown around today and people submit to these labels and these labels come from the Book of Ink. Now in the secret of time, you have to understand that this ink that's in this book called the Bible is designed to cause a person to become bound in the flesh so that they're unable to worship the Creator in the Spirit. Little children, there are no Presbyterians, there are no Catholics in the Kingdom of God. But God is one and the Holy Spirit people only follow one Spirit, one voice, one covenant, one heart, and one love. They do not have any divisions. Divisions do not come from Christ, but divisions come from the Bible. Now, in understanding how these Bible worshipers think, they come up with these labels and they come up with beliefs based on the ink. In reality, their thinking is not based on what is written in their heart, but their thinking is based on what is written in ink. Their whole reality, little children, comes from ink. In fact, the whole world is made up of words based on ink, on paper. And this is a secret of time. When it comes to this God of this world, Death Satan, who controls his people through ink. In the book of ink, for example, you have these beliefs, these different realities that you can pick and choose from based on the Bible. Some people choose to become a Baptist and they'll say once saved, always saved. And they get that from the Bible in the four gospels of Constantine and James where they say Jesus told them that the Father has given him his followers, his sheep, and that no man can pluck them out of his hand. And then you have those who choose the ink that makes them a Pentecostal. And they will say that they must endure to the end. They will say that we are not saved once and for all, but we have to endure to the end, and that's all based on the Bible. How can this be one God? How can they follow one spirit? How can one believe that the Baptist and the Pentecostal are following the real Jesus, but in reality they're following the devil, they're following a lie? Another favorite difference between Baptists and the Pentecostals that I was raised up around is that the Pentecostal will talk about how you must be baptized and the Baptist will say yes 
One says you must be baptized in water, fully immersed. And the other will say, well, you must be baptized in the Holy Spirit. And that's all based on the Bible, little children. That's why you see one division who will sprinkle a little water on the children when they're infants, while another division in Satan's church says you must be fully immersed. Where do they get these differences from? Their reality is based on the ink. Another difference is when the Church of Christ, the Church of Christ gets their reality from the Bible, they are in fact not a Church of Christ. And they don't have music in their services. They don't believe in having musical instruments based on the Bible. And they'll say that based on the book of Ephesians, that one should make songs and melody to God in their heart. And others have musical instruments because they just go with the whole Bible. And they'll say, well, in the book of Psalms, it talks about bringing musical instruments, stringed instruments, and using stringed instruments to worship God. Other divisions, they believe in women preachers, while others don't believe in women preachers. Some will take the ink that says, let your women remain silent in church. There's no agreement in this machine of death Satan, but they're all controlled by the same book of ink. There's no unity in Satan's church, but in the true kingdom of the real Jesus, little children, there is no division. Now, when it comes to the living Jesus and snake handlers, people will take the ink and they'll say, Jesus told them they can take up serpents and it will not harm them. They can handle snakes. And if the snake bites them, it will not cause death. Just the other day, there was a snake handler that had to be rushed to the hospital because the snake he was handling bit him and he was severely poisoned and he almost died. All of this, little children, is based on a book of ink. And when it comes to the belief that all men will be saved, you have those who choose this part of the book of ink and they like those words found in the Bible that Jesus is the savior of all mankind. They call themselves universalists. Well, we know that all men will not be saved. The only ones saved are those who are filled with the spirit of life who are regenerated. But because they are bound in the flesh, because they derive life, they derive their faith from the book of ink, the mark of the beast called the Bible, they cannot hear these words of life. But in reality, little children, the Holy Spirit people don't follow labels, they follow the Spirit. Holy Spirit people's reality is based on faith that's based on the heart, not faith based on what's written in ink. And Holy Spirit people understand that we overcome this world not by memorizing words in our head and quoting words from scriptures, but we only overcome this world by the spirit of life through our heart faith. Now this is the secret of time, little children, that he wanted you to hear today. The God of ink, death Satan, has a secret and now the secret's going to be revealed, the secret of time. When it comes to one of his favorite spells, when it comes to one of his favorite spells found in Genesis 1, there's jewelry and there are necklaces. They make ornaments. They have this inscribed in people's clothing. These words, in the beginning God created the heaven and the earth. Well, if you take the Mark of the Beast number of 666, you will find a secret. And all who are given this world because they've accepted the Mark of the Beast know of this secret. All Freemasons are aware of the true nature of reality. That this world's reality is all based on the ink of Death Satan. In the beginning, God created 
those five words of little children. Have the sequence of 666. And they make up a word. So when you count six letters in, you get the letter B, as in boy. When you count six from that letter, you get the letter I, as in India. And when you count six letters away from the letter I, you get the letter C, as in Charlie, which makes up the word big. And this is an observable fact that if you wish to verify it, you can go online right now. You can go online to Google. Just type in the word big and see what comes up. You will find that in the beginning, death Satan made a world of lies. And there is verifiable proof right there for you little children. In the beginning God created has nothing to do with the creator of the stars and everything to do with the mark of the beast. There's a famous musician. He likes to call himself Jehovah. And he and his wife have a daughter. And the initials to her name is Bic. And they named her with a certain color because you will discover that Bic is connected to the making of ink pens. And they also make cigarette lighters. And Bic is this man's God. Bic is the one who made the Bible. Bic is the God of ink. And they gave this color of blue to their daughter. You have black ink and you have blue ink and sometimes you have red. But now the secret is out little children. In the beginning God created has to do with the spells and lies of death Satan. The Bible is an alien implant. The Bible is the book of the dead.